Sorry I took so long. Oh, Mike's here. What up, Mike? Man, yeah, I got my DX shirt. Huh? Eh? Eh? Well, I'm excited to get back into this mode. It's been a few days. And we're at WrestleMania 19. Jericho and Sean. What a what a match. What a damn match. The Hall of Fame DX one. Oh, yeah. I bought a heap of, like, retro WWE tees, like, ages ago. Well, not ages. Like, a few months ago. Yes. <clears throat> Wait, hold up. I gotta sneeze. Got that COVID sneeze down packed, you know. Gotta do the dab. Alright. Kind of like that. <clears throat> Alright, so WrestleMania 19, Sean and Jericho. I've watched this match a lot, and it's very good. But it's nowhere near as good as the matches they had in um 2008. You know when they had that big program in 2008? This is good, but I don't think it's it's as good as what they did in 2008. Yeah, there is a heap of new merch too that's cool. It's just so expensive to get it shipped here. It's so expensive. I have to buy it when I have a lot of money and I can buy it all at once. So I'm not paying like $70 for one shirt like to get shipped here. It's, it's fucked. Yeah, that one. That was a really good rivalry. And like the eye when he like put him through the Geratron 5000 and then he, the eye and then all that kind of stuff. And then he punched his wife legitimately and all that kind of stuff. The following contest that was good stuff. Is scheduled for one ball. Introducing first from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing 227 pounds, Chris Jericho. What a night this could be, King, for Chris Jericho. He was the first undisputed WWE. I remember when I liked Chris Jericho. He was actually born in New York City, and he grew up his whole life as a WWE fan. The one star in his whole life that he emulated from day one is his opponent tonight. Hell yeah. Chris Jericho, as a person, in the last few years, I've really started to not love. Even Jericho as a wrestler, he's not what he used to be. He thinks he's way better than he is, and I don't love that. And this is coming from a person who Jericho was my all-time favorite. He was my guy. He was my dude. Hey, look, it's the greatest professional wrestler of all time. Greatest in-ring performer ever. Shawn Michaels. This match could be a show stealer. Arguably, both these men in different circles are considered pound for pound the best in the business. Shawn Michaels was the first ever Jericho's like one of like top ten, maybe, but not the best. I'm usually quite forgiving as well. I'm the same. I like wrestling as an escape, but in the in the age of social media, it's hard to separate now. And because wrestling lives in this weird in-between bubble where wrestlers want to believe that they're, that's what they are. It's, it's weird. I'm not your boy, toy. Fair. But we, Sean's number one, so <laughs> doesn't really matter. Hands off the merchandise. Alright.
Yeah, no, probably not. Oh. All right, I gotta get Y2J to critical damage. Can do. I'm like so out of it. Daylight savings changed for us like early this morning, obviously. Went forward an hour. And you know when time changes and your body's just like, what time is it? That was me this morning. I'm like, woke up and I'm like, yeah. Shit, 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 There's balls, ball. shit, balls. Whoa. You gotta wonder if HBK's entrance with all the pyrotechnics with these well, yeah, you win. <laughs> plus fans on their feet is all getting in the head of Chris Jericho. Oh, wow. I don't think you have to wonder. Chris Jericho feels that he's more charismatic than Shawn Michaels. He feels that his skills have surpassed those of Shawn Michaels. Ah. Oh, shit. Loves a sleeper slam, apparently. Fuck off, Jericho. This was a very good match, though. Like, a very good match. Ow. Scoop and a slam or a backbreaker, whatever. Well, they don't call him the showstopper for nothing. But at this point, I think HBK should just be happy to escape with his health, let alone his career. 30 now is my stream something likely GTA. Yeah, I'll be oh, oh wait. Oh, I've got my prediction stream tonight for NXT. Maybe before that. If I'm if it's not, you know. But maybe before that, if I'm if I'm around, definitely. Oh, look, sharpshooters on a Canadian. Well, a fake Canadian. Jericho isn't a real Canadian, so you know. Hey, Luke! What's going on? Oh, shit. Close, Jericho. I don't need you beating me up. I'm just trying to do these objectives, Jericho. Reputations are enhanced where memories last forever. Oofed. And that's exactly what this particular match is all about. And Chris Jericho, he wants a career ended tonight. He wants to end Shawn Michaels' career on the <laughs> Yeah, Jer Jericho's Jericho's <laughs> a fake Canadian. <laughs> Get out of here, beach. Switch in. I need to get him to critical damage. Moonsaunts? Sure. Jericho's got a finisher, and I don't like that because it's a submission, and I'll probably lose. Oh, Mike, you should have been here the other night when I, um... When I did a uh, cutscene, when I did a uh, Raw two, oh my god, it was a nightmare. Oh, it was a nightmare. <laughs> oh, he's money. Yeah, all the clocks changed, and I'm like out of it. So we're even more in the future now, Mike. Oh god, Jericho. Hiya. Damn. Oh really? They're interesting. Well, I've never played Raw 1, but I've played, played Raw 2. Yeah, I'm not selling my own finish. Get out of here. Oh, no. <laughs> this is what I was worried about. <laughs> yeah, the audacity, Luke. How is things with Luke, anyway? How is one Luke? Ah. Get off of me. Yep. <laughs> so we'll be I'll be like so many hours ahead of everybody again. Oh shit Oh, that was too close <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good No complaints here 
I'm just playing some wrestling games on a Sunday. A Can't really hate that. Thick. <laughs> what? <laughs> Remember that spot at WrestleMania 19? Whoa, look out. He's to turn this ah shit. Ah shit. Well, ah shit. Hey, see? Something, something to entertain you while you're editing. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jericho is starting to piss me off. Ugh. Oh, now he's going to freaking... Everyone be editing. Oh, no. It's the first match of the stream, and I'm going to lose, aren't I? I'm going to lose. Jericho is going to beat me. Whoa! What in the fucking shit? That turned green! That turned green. I seen that turn green. Remember when Jericho beat Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania with power bombs? Oh my god, JPQ's here as well. I mean, I do. Rewriting history. Yes, I know. Objective failed. Look, JPQ, Luke's here as well. It's like a little reunion. Rematch this shit. Let's start again, hey? Mike, I need your I need your lucky charmness to set in, because usually I win when you're here. But maybe it's worn off. Maybe it's the time change. I mean, he went from telling him how much he idolized him as a kid to sabotaging HBK's royal Oh shit. When you're talking about Jericho and HBK. Oh, he's going to do dives. <laughs> Just ran straight into that. Yeah, you're unlucky for six months. Great. No more coming into my streams. Alright, we got this. We got this. It's alright. It's alright. Get off me. I need to stop fucking around, you know? No, plus stay, Mike. Plus stay. <laughs> and into the kick. Let's go. Yeah. The sound is echoing to the far reaches of this packed arena. It's fine. Nobody say anything. It's fine. I will be fine. I will get through this. I've had a couple of matches in this mode that have just fucked with me. They have just truly fucked with me. This one might be one of them. We'll see. You gotta wonder if HBK's entrance with all the pyrotechnics with these 54,000 plus fans on their feet is all getting in the head of Jericho the Plus. Stage of them all. I need to take a breather. Are made where Giddy emotes. We love Giddy emotes. Where memories last forever. And that's exactly what this particular match is all about. Hey, Brad's here as well. What up, Brad? He wants a career ended tonight. He wants to end Shawn Michaels' career. Yes, all the Giddy emotes. I don't even know where Giddy is. Usually she's in here. Already retired once due to a back injury, suffered the hands of the Undertaker in a casket match at the Royal Rumble in 1990. I simply said, move it. Jericho is looking to send HBK back to San Antonio for good this time. Well, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if Jericho targets HBK's surgically repaired lower back as a way to oh, yes. one early. His Achilles heel is his back. Ah. Let's start. Yes. It. Suck it. Great presence of mind by Jericho to reverse that. 
Oh, Vintage Sean, let's go. Look, I did another one. Double elbows. Don't you... You bitch. You damn bitch. Got to keep that finish, because I got to do it after the thing, so... Wow, fantastic work there, yeah, Mike. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great observation. <laughs> Hiya! Look, I'll do an inverted figure four leg lock. How about that? He made a name for himself on a global stage and is now looking to cement his legacy as the man who retired HBK at WrestleMania. Oh, that's gonna be a tall order to fill, JR. Many a man has tried to send HBK packing, Ooh. but if anyone can do it, it's Y2J. Get in critical, you bitch. Will you give me a break? The fuck, Jericho. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Keep my cool here. Just and slow and steady, go. eh? Back into the ring. Michaels is pulling out every stop to win this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> The Duke Plus, just get in the critical damage. Oh, you dirty cheat. You cheater. Oh, I got out of it. I'm a snake. I'm a slippery snake. Now I got three finishes. You want to fuck with me, Jericho? Look at that. We're back into it. <laughs> the Jericho noises. <laughs> Kick him in the mush. Rat in the chin. Times three. Yes. As Luke said before, the audacity of Y2J. The little dance he does. <laughs> I... You... Oh my god. If I don't... He better not. Don't. Oh, yeah, sorry. Win by pinfall? Didn't he win by a roll up? Should I should I be disgrace? Disgusting. Really? You like a good finisher steal? I don't know how I feel about finisher steals. Sometimes I like them. Oh, he just reversed one. I should have not done it again. <gasps> oh no! Yikes! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'm good. Was in a main event environment at WrestleMania was in 1998. Sean went in as champion, but soon my lower back. back Ow! Well, it's one of those things. Oh, look at that. The, the chain wrestling wizard, Sean Michaels. Fuck you! Youth and Should I win via roll up? Just to just to really be, you know. Sean Michaels is the showstopper. I should. Oh no. Ow. It's at WrestleMania. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. He's going for it all. Whoa, whoa, he hits the canvas. Ha <laughs> ha. See, JPQ is a fan of it too. And JPQ is like the smartest man I know, so. Nice, a rope break. Just what we want. I'm trying, Mike. I'm trying. We gotta do the roll up, but I was gonna try and do it from like you know like the like an O'Connor roll, didn't he? Honestly, Luke, the same. I'm the same. I've never talked to a person about wrestling that is just so intelligent. As one Jonathan. So props to you, JPQ. Whoop! Let's go! Yeah, we did it! We did it! The boy who dreamed, not quite, but you know. Ah, Luke, see? She's a smart lady.
will never forget as long as they live. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Oh, look at that. The show is sportsmanship. Look at that. We love to see it. We love to see it. Oh, but in the dick. Right in the dick. I love a good just boom. Just straighten the grapefruits, you know? Straighten the nuggets. It's just a total fuck you move. It's great. JPQ. Don't even. Don't even. Alright? You're a smart boy. Alright? In the rage of the beam. Dance like Shawn Michaels. So I was having this conversation recently. Wrestling fans overestimate wrestlers' fame. Yeah, I think it's because wrestling fans want wrestlers to be famous so then other people see wrestling. I think we all kind of get a bit naive. <laughs> It's Austin and Rock, yo. It's Austin and Rock, yo. It's not obviously as good as 17, but it's like, it's good. How does everyone feel about Austin and Rock at WrestleMania 19? Yeah, my mum doesn't know that much about wrestling. My mum doesn't know much about wrestling. The following contest Ooh, is cookies. Greatest WrestleMania feud ever. Mm. Mm. It's very good. I always ask this question, but there's like six people in here, and there's people that aren't usually here, like Luke. So, Austin or Rock? Right now, if you had to pick, Austin or Rock? So when I was a kid, it was Rock, but as an adult, it's Austin. So, Rock every day? You scream like you, you would like. I don't know, there's something about you, Luke, that might. Yeah, not many people. My mum knew who Becky Lynch was because she's seen her on a morning show. <laughs> so she knew who Becky Lynch was. Oh, jeez, Reese. Statistics, man. Reese popping in. How are you, Reese? This rock is like the best rock. This, like, Hollywood scumbag rock is, like, so good. So good. Becky Lynch on Mount Rushmore confirmed. <laughs> I guess her star did rise a little, but... What? Uh-uh. Um... You love Hollywood rock, me too. It's just Austin. It's just. It's just Stone Cold. It's just like. There's not. Like. Yeah. Rock turned face from the corporation was the best rock. I've always been a fan of heel rock more than face rock, but I like heels more. Babyface to babyface, Austin destroys Rock. Well, that's big words. Luke's going to disagree. See, everyone has so many opinions on Rock and Austin. It's like a good point of conversation. No one's really ever the same. But we can both, like, we can all agree that they're both very, very good. It's just a matter of... 7-0 with two no contests. I don't, I see unpopular opinion, but I really liked Hill Austin when he was with McMahon and like Angle and all of that. And he was just like, a, like so different. Oh yeah, I'm playing as Rock. Austin versus McMahon is the greatest wrestling feud of all time, I think. Hollywood Rock is my favorite Rock, but... Oh yeah, Rock's a better heel. I'm not saying that, but I really like heel Austin. Like, I really enjoyed it. There was a segment in the Invasion. I know everyone doesn't like the Invasion. Oh, you're gonna make a Rock Austin video. Cool, Reese. Um, I know everyone doesn't love the Invasion, but there was a segment 
where Stephanie McMahon sang to Austin with all the members of the invasion in the ring, like, you are the wind beneath my wings. And it was so horrendous. It's like one of my favorite segments in wrestling ever. I freaking love it. GM Austin. Oh my God. When he, oh my God. And he hated Eric Bischoff. <laughs> that was the best. Wah. Oh shit. I have that audio of Stephanie singing that song saved on my phone. So it's in my Spotify library. <laughs> and it just comes on and repeat sometimes. <laughs> it's so good. Please tell me someone remembers that segment. Holy shit, it's so good. I want to like... Make it my ringtone? Oh, hell yeah. Should I put it on? I don't have to put on the... I'll just put on the audio. Let's, let's, uh, <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Let's, let's find it. Hey, Stephanie. Guys, I just spelt Stephanie with a W. How, how is that even possible? McMahon. What? If you go in on YouTube, the first thing that comes up is when I type Stephanie McMahon is Stephanie McMahon hot moments. Like, no. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, the only one is a really bad quality. How bad is the quality? Let's. I know it sounds awful. Can you hear that, everyone? Is it very loud or didn't it louder? Lillian, would you please look at the screen and follow our leader? Okay, let's let's go with this. True, Luke. I can see it, obviously, but you ready? Oh, Lillian singing first. I'm a Stephanie Mark. I love Stephanie McMahon. Yeah, I agree, Steph. And I know that singer. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me. Oh my god, not that. To lead you in song. Are you ready? Please Don't worry, I won't leave it on too long. Oh my god, Reese, yes. Here we go. Note was shit. Oh, Oh, 
<laughs> oh, really? Freddy Prince. Masterpiece. This note, this note. Amazing. What a segment. I'm glad that we share, shared that as, you know, as a group. That How have you never seen that segment? It's freaking fantastic. Just type in Stephanie McMahon Sings. It's not very good quality on YouTube. It's on the net. Well, it'd be on the network, obviously. So, you know, it's freaking lit. <laughs> Probably should get back to the game, but whatever. Um, <laughs> All right, back to Rock Austin. Uh, that was definitely worth it. Amazing voice, just very soothing. You know? Oh shit, Austin's beating my ass. Top 10. Raven is. Well, the Raven, never more. Um, the only thing I ever remember about Raven is his music going, car, 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 car. That's all I remember about Raven. And I used to play as him a lot in Shut Your Mouth because he had a, the Raven effect. He had the dope ass DDT. Top 10 moments that show all promotions misused Raven. <laughs> I hope everyone loved Stephanie McMahon singing uh, that song then. It is one of Josh Robinson's favorite segments of all time, so I hope you all remember that if that ever comes up in a quiz, you know. See, he was good to play as in Shut Your Mouth. It was just a dope time. Austin, stop beating my ass. Come on. Ah, no. Ah, no. I don't think Austin cares much about The Rock's good looks or his Hollywood career. Tonight is about WrestleMania. It's about... Oh, oh, shit. Stomp the mud hole in The Rock. Ah! Rawr. Got to complete the WrestleMania moment. Oh shit! Ah! Ooh, that is an underappreciated game, JPQ. Get out of this! Get out of this! Boom! Oh shit! Ah! B! No! No! Stunner! Let's pin him. Just for effect, you know? Nice. Don't sell your finish, Austin. It's fine. Just bring it. What a game. Lita has a great diving moonsault. The commentary alone. So good. I can't believe she's a girl. Shut up. <laughs> what a game. What a game. Weird bird. Bloody Flamingo was a nice bird. <laughs> I agree. It's unpopular, but I agree. I like Shut Your Mouth more than Here Comes the Pain. Personally. Cause you are the ring, then he's the ring. Ah! I'm scared of birds. Wanna talk about it? Like, I'm actually petrified of them. I'm talking all birds. All birds. Not my thing. Thought I'd share that information. <laughs> Not that it really 
makes a difference to anyone's day. <laughs> yeah, there's a joke stuff. I just got stunned. Oh, feck. The spring, it was great. Exhibition, ambition, ambition. There is a joke somewhere there, Mike. <laughs> Well, oh well. Rock never got the win over Austin. No biggie. Yeah, but I mean, Fowl's the exception. Josh fears foul. I mean, foul is very good at what he does, so. Would anyone really be that mad if Austin just beat Rock again? Oh, but then there's, yeah, well, Luke. I don't, I'm not, fuck. Okay, I'm not petrified of all birds. Just most. With the exception of Luke and Fowl. Because, yeah, Luke is an actual owl. So, you know. To be fair, I'm, 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 I'm going to have an excuse here that I was listening to Stephanie McMahon sing. So, this, that, that one didn't count. Hoot, hoot, motherfuckers. Yeah, and Mike's a, yeah, you're a panda. So, we got lots of animals in here. Dirty animals. Luke will appreciate this joke. Remember that episode of Friends? Where Phoebe drops the bowl and all the lottery tickets are in it. And then she pretends to be a bird and Joey's like looking around. She's like, don't hurt the pretty lady, cool. Luke will like that because it's a Friends reference. Joey's like, what the fuck? <laughs> ah. Come on. Piece of shit. Oh, you were about to open up a can. Oh, worms right there, Mike. Oh, Luke's about to go to town on you. Yeah, true, Luke. Friends is good. <laughs> Luke's, Luke's about... <laughs> Although, uh, my favorite friend is Phoebe. And I know me and Luke don't agree that she's the best, but I mean, favorites is subject subjective, I guess. But huh, yeah, nice. When I watch Friends, I have to kind of watch it in order. Chandler is great, but Chandler's better when he's with Monica. My control is just constantly vibrating. Nice. The rumble's just going ham in it. It just doesn't give a fuck right now. Why is it doing that? It won't stop. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. We're good, we're good. We good, we good. I mean, come on, Mike. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, B. No. Nice, now I gotta get a people's elbow, and I'm not gonna lose this time, am I? 
I'm not going to lose. I'm not going to lose. Fuck, 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 out. I mean, there's a difference, though, because I've watched Friends so much. I still laugh at it if I sit down and watch it, but to be fair, anything I put on is background noise of me doing something else. It doesn't really matter what it is. And he gets leveled. Austin's in trouble. Now that's how you block the Friends isn't my favorite, favorite show of all time, but... I certainly love it. Ah shit, ah shit, ah shit, ah shit, ah shit, ah shit. This not good. Blurs don't hit me with a stunner. Oh. Yeah, I'm a bit like fidge. I have to do something else while even watching wrestling. I guess maybe wrestling's the only exception. But I don't sit down when I watch wrestling. I usually stand and walk around. Because I have to be doing something. The only time I ever really sit down is when I play games. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's time for Dat People's Elbows. What the hell? I'm not even standing over him. Needs to turn the tide Whoa. right now. This very people's elbow. Oh, <laughs> Never, but <laughs> should I? Uh oh, uh oh, we going again. We going again. Uh. Rock bottom. Oh, do I got to do it again? Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> uh, if I lose right now. Probably. Please don't lose. No, never mind. I kicked that one. <laughs> we need Stephanie in here singing for Austin. Actually, that might help him. Yeah, fuck the stunner. Get off me. Samoan drop. Just kicked him directly in his head. It's still crazy that this is literally... Literal, easy for me to say. Literally, Austin's last match. There's not many people that actually have a last match and then... They have their last match. the hell has happened to my can y'all still hear me am i still live because all of my stream labs is just frozen hmm like even like my like so my my stream labs is frozen my twitch creator dashboard is also frozen but my chat's like my chat's still going on there, but everything else is going weird numbers, and there's no like volume or anything going in on my my live timer is going backwards now. Huh. Well, if I'm still live, I'm fine. I can still see the chat. Huh. I don't know what happened. I just noticed my like volume things weren't going up. It's because, but then some things are still, what the fuck? If I'm still live, I really don't care. Don't you 
As long as everything's fine, on I'm gonna keep going. But if something goes wrong, tell me because I'll um I'll uh restart the stream. But all right then, that's weird. Fucking top shit, eh? I mean, yeah, I'm blaming Streamlabs. Now I got an excuse. Low, 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 low. Stone Cold Streamlabs, Austin. <laughs> Yeah, it just comes up as it instantly failed. All right, what I'm gonna do, because um, I want my Streamlabs to kind of come back, is I'm going to quickly stop, and I'll be back on the stream in like two or three minutes. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back live in a minute, all right? Sound good? I just want my Streamlabs to come back up so I can see what the fuck's going on. So I'll be back in like two or three minutes. So don't go anywhere, unless you wanna go, of course, but otherwise, hang tight, hang tight. 